Okay, as we finished up the last video, we were talking about um, really needing to know a list of perfect squares. Uh, we need to know 6 squared is 36, and 7 squared is 49, and so on and so forth. You, you really should know those off the top of your head, all the way up to at least 12 squared is 144. We should know all of those, you know, all the way up to there. Okay. Now that's going to make that um, it's going to make some things very, uh, very, you know, much more doable for us, because we need to understand that uh, just like whenever we first started learning how to add, you know, we learned how to add and we did things like um, two plus three equals five, and then we learned to go backwards. We learned that five minus three equals two. Then we learned multiplication and we learned that 2 times 3 is 6 and then we went backwards and we learned that 6 divided by 3 is 2. So with all of our operations we learned to go forwards and then we learned to go backwards. When we talk about exponents they have a forwards or they are like a forward operation the opposite or the backwards operation from squaring something is to square root it. So um, let me write that out here. The square root is uh, of a number, let me write that, of a number is the opposite of squaring. Okay, now let's see how that works. Here we have a problem that says, it says fill in each blank. So we have 6 squared. Well, if we knew our list of perfect squares, then we would know what that is, or we can you know look back until we memorize these. Or you can just think about what it is. Remember, to square means to multiply it to itself two times. So 6 times 6 would be 36. Alright, now this symbol right here is a square root symbol. So that's what that looks like. The square root of a number is the opposite of squaring. So if you, um, if you move forward by squaring a number, you move backwards by square rooting it. So what we would need to say here then is the square root of 36 then would be 6. We're just going forwards and then backwards. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's try that again with this one. Here we have a problem that says 50 squared. Well, we don't know what that is off the top of our head, but we do know that 50 squared means 50 times 50. So if we multiply those, we would get 2,500. So 2,500. Now, we need to go backwards. What do we need to take the square root of that would get us back to 50? Well, it would be the exact opposite. The square root of 2,500 would get us right back to 50. Squaring goes forwards. Square rooting goes backwards. Okay, let's try a couple more examples here. This one says, what is the square root of 49? And again, if we, if we knew what our perfect squares were, then we could go backwards very easily. Here in our perfect square list, we say it says 7 squared is 49. So to go backwards, we would take the square root of 49 would be 7. So this would be 7. Now for the square root of 144. Think backwards. What number do you have to square in order to get 144? And that would be 12. So the square root of 144 is 12.